Hello and welcome to Comedy D&D. I'm your dungeon master, Kevin O'Shea. I've got uh, three of my favorite players ready to play some Dungeons and Dragons with us tonight. Two of them aren't wearing pants. The answer might surprise you. More after this. Let's roll that intro. Welcome back. Um, Corona, Simon, you okay there? I don't know. I'm not, I'm, I'm having a little tough time at the turntables. Tough time at the turntables, all right. The, the alliteration. Let's give a shout out for Simon Timoney on the ones and twos. Simon, why, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, your character, and everybody leveled up. So if uh, you, know, you have something cool you wanna talk about, maybe like a subclass or something like that. What's up, everyone? DJ DJ T Money in the house, right? And the one to do is right. All right. So what we've got here is uh, Corona Claw. I'm an orc, right? But I'm like reincarnated uh, Tabaxi with one little arm. I'm a fighter, right? But when I when I uh, when I when I grow up, I want to be a please queen. We are the champions. I'm a champion subclass. Uh, champ, like real life game. Woo. And I, I loved you on season four of Vanderpump Rules. Um, Casey, why don't you tell us a little bit about your character? Uh, yes, I'm Casey. I'm playing Jalel bin Jakat, a Yuan T bard, and I am very excited to have gone to college on Spirit Airlines. That's right, College of Spirits. Wait, is that actually what it's called? Well, it's the spirity one. Um, I think it's College of Spirits. Yeah, College of Spirits. Also, going to college on Spirit Airlines is like the cheapest way to go to college. True. Um, so let me see. I got guidance. That's fun. I gotta have guidance. I, I didn't realize that actually that bar, there was a bard subclass that gave out guidance. And then uh, I got a cool way of using the bardic inspiration, which is uh, to listen to the spirits. Roll a die and see what story the spirits tell you. Fascinating. Perhaps we'll learn more about it in the game tonight. Uh, Hayden. Last, uh, but not least. Uh, last and least. Um, oh, well, I, I wasn't, I was gonna introduce who was gonna go next. Hmm. Just kidding, cool. it's Hayden. Um, you said my name already before you said my and last um, but least, it's Hayden. I'm Welby. It's Hayden. Uh, it's, it's me. I'm playing Welby, still a divination wizard. Uh, but I have level two spells now. Which ones? Well, we'll see. Ooh, if we guess right, will you tell us? Uh yeah, they're not they're not super hard to guess i don't think sure there's a lot of combat spells in there ready to eldritch help out blast. Your, your adventuring party and it's, keep them alive it's eldritch blast right no is it wish uh not yet wish isn't what 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 kind of spell is wish um a ninth level spell it oh. is a it's it's a conjuration spell. spell. Makes sense. Um, okay. Uh, anybody want to do a little recap for us? Um, oh. I can do it. Um, so, uh, we, we found ourselves in the dragon bar of the... I forget the name of the tavern of the of the, of the whole establishment. Uh, wheel something. Uh, 
Fortune's wheel. Fortune's wheel. Uh, and Welby went to go clean the kitchen when uh, when uh, Jalel went to go pour himself a beer from the tap. Out from the tap came a couple of oozes. Uh, we fought the oozes. Uh, then we proceeded upstairs and found that we looked out the window and found that the uh, the hole uh, in was buried uh, under dirt deep beneath the ground. Uh, we we looked about and we found a a gel. We found police tape uh, on the on the front door saying that it was infected with gels and oozes, uh, and it, the building was under quarantine. Uh, we proceeded upstairs and uh, ran into a gel, defeated the gel, uh, uh, and then we went upstairs and found a little gel shrine, which was like summoning oozes and gels or something, which we disabled. And then we argued for a while trying to figure out how to get out uh, when a bunch of goat man wizards, I want to say, uh, lifted uh, telekinesis the, the the in out of the ground and put it back in the city and the city rearranged itself to make space. Uh, and they said the building was no longer under quarantine. And that's where we ended. Okay, and then you guys have leveled up. Uh, you're able to leave the bar now, if you want, through the front door. You can go through the windows and the top floors, but you know, at your own risk. Well, that sounds like a challenge. Well, be go for it. Uh, Welby is is peering out the window and says, "Do you guys know this place?" Uh, let me see. This doesn't. None of us recognize it. I'm assuming. Um, you make a history or arcana roll with disadvantage because you really just are like, you're looking out a window and just seeing city. We're doing. Uh, can I Oops, I that didn't work. Bro, well, there we go. How about a... I got it. 14 history. I got eight. Um, Jalel, you, you do get the impression that this is a kind of bigger, more intricate city than anything that you were familiar with, and you, you would be familiar with um, some of the greater cities of Faroon. This city is very impressive. I do not know it. I wonder why Kazerabet sent me here. Probably because they hate you. Then why would she not have just left me to die? <laughs> because that's easier. That's easier than whatever, whatever this is. It's about to... That's... This is way worse than just a quick, swift death. Ah, torture. Yeah. Yes, that explains your presence as well. <laughs> yes. That's right. Oh my god. I guess those visions make so much more sense now. I saw... I think I saw a flying goat man. Yes. I don't know, it doesn't... I thought... It was, it was going crazy, but it's all here. Really. Well, shall we go meet the goatmen? Oh, Out the I, window, you can kind of see the goatmen have sort of, uh, well, what you've called the goatmen, uh, have, have dispersed out, um, and they seem to have been gone already. Uh, but there is kind of a, a small crowd gathering around. Can I roll Arcana on identifying the goat men? Yep. Uh, dirty 20. Yeah, they're not quite goat creatures. They. You don't even really see legs and hands. They're wearing robes, but they, they seem to float effortlessly 
and um, you know they kind of have this bright silvery fire for hair and um, they, they remind you of, of something you, you've read in a book about the ethereal plane I think we might be on the ethereal plane or those I think those goat fellows were from the ethereal plane I'm not I can't quite right, keep an eye out for ethereal stuff okay I think there might be something ethereal going on you, you... What, what the hell does ethereal mean you know, like, like I, don't, I don't know what that means. I've never heard that word before. Like the, like the, the, can you, have you read a book? I think once, maybe. I was little. Oh, well. We had tablets. I, Does that count? I, yeah, I, I do. If you ever get a chance, I recommend reading uh, The Nature of the Plains uh, by uh, Belton Saxby. It's a really good one. I, I, if, you know, if you're, if you're interested, I know it's not everybody's thing. Okay, so since Welby has canonically read, read a book on the planes, you can make an arcana, a straight arcana or history roll. On what? Okay. Uh, you'll find out. That's a 22, baby. <laughs> 22 arcana. Um so you you remember in the history of the plains it talks about how in the very center of all the plains there is a city. Mm -hmm. You know I'm remembering with the now that you now that I mention it in in his, the, the nature of the plains it's all the planes connect to a, a city in the center, and that might be we where we are. I don't remember much about it, but maybe we should ask the the people here if they know. Yes, they they seem to be gathering outside. I wonder if maybe this was the only bar in town or something. Oh, that's if we're the owners now. That's good news for us. Are we the owners? I, I guess we're the owners. Well, I guess, I guess, I guess technically Corona is the owner because. We got like, the deal. No, I mean I can't do this alone. Like a, a partnership, uh, it's, I it mean, brings way more drama into the mix. Um, yeah, but I I couldn't imagine you know owning this place by myself after what we've gone through. Get I mean, it. I mean I'm definitely. I would like to figure out how to get home, but I'm I'm certainly experienced. And, and happy to run run the bar and the hey, yeah, in no, the meantime and face murder charges or run a bar and, and serve I those. didn't I didn't murder that man I, I don't that's not what they think he got, he got murdered not, on me I I, 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 I you have to I know what I know what the I know what the cops are thinking right now and it's gonna change their mind you've so. murdered people multiple times no no but you know what you know people who do things, you know? No, I don't. I I was worked at a bar. Yeah. Yes, well, but you you I have you, work at you have that name, Good Sleep. It sounds it sounds very sinister. We know your family Do must be into some dark stuff. Does it? Does it sound sinister? Good I, sleep. Yes. People always told me it sounded. They say really... death is the good sleep. Dude, who? Uh, who says that? Well, I've never... wakes you up and to do some work. Yes, yes. It is the good sleep because then you could still work. I always thought it was just like... A, my my great-great-grandfather took the name because he started the, the tavern. And people always they uh, slept good, it, you know? It was like a front. I get it, yes. It wasn't a... It was a front for sleeping good. It was... A, yes. It was... There was all front. There was no back to the front. It was 100%. Yes, it was a front for good sleep. We understand. Good I don't think you do. Hire. I. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go talk to the people outside. Okay. 
Uh, what are we going to say if one of them was the previous owner? We, we uh, got... Uh, love, uh, thanks. Okay. Thank you. I think we have... the previous owner may have been in that gelatinous uh, person. Oh, gosh. Well... I'm ready to note. Let's go outside. Well be outside and... Welby composes himself and goes downstairs. Uh, you go outside and and there's a, a crowd of people. It's a small one. It's it's more um, kind of people stopping and looking the way that they would maybe at like a, a car accident or something like that. Um, just as something strange has happened, something different, not completely unusual, but but something unique has happened, and, and they're stopping and checking it out. Uh, most people kind of seem to take note and move along quickly. Um, you know, in, in the middle, you, you see kind of a, a short and bald satyr kind of hanging out and staring at the place, looking at it fondly. Well, B pokes his head out the door and says, um, hello? Um, where are we? Does anybody uh, know? And the the satyr kind of meets your eyes and goes, uh, "Hey, hey, you are you talking to me?" Sure. Yeah, are you? You're in the you're in the fortune's wheel. This place has been this place has been closed for a while. You guys reopening? Welby looks back pensively at Jalel and Corona. Live girls. Live girls inside. Come on, step right up. Step right up. No, we, don't, with... we don't have any. We don't have any girls it's right now. We have... Live girls. You have right to. Now. It, it costs a lot more to keep live girls. Are you sure that's how we want to go? Live gelatinous girls inside. Here we go. Opening day special. Hey, should we do that? Oh, you, you guys still got that gelatinous problem. I thought maybe. Uh, no, no, we took care of the. Finally cleared that up. We well, we took care of the the oozes. They're they're dead. They're not alive. It's like you want to take care of some gelatinous problem. Like you got to call a guy. You got to get a permit. You got to do all this. Anyways, you know, what's your name? Uh, my name, uh, hey, put put it here. And he puts it on his hand and because uh, oh, so I'm, I'm Dover. Dover? Mm-hmm. What's your name? Crona's just trying not to laugh right now. Um, <laughs> My name's Crona Claw. This is a uh, this is this is Welby and um, Zimbalin Bacat or something. That is not to even close. Chill out. Why is one cat. hand all furry? This is what his uh, name I'm is. Really trying over here. Don't bring up the furry hand. Oh, it's fine. It's... I was in a taxi and then I died and I came back like this. You know. Is that what happened to you? <sighs> she used to be gorgeous. Did I? Did I yeah. Yeah. Oh. How do you think? Do you think I was born with a tabaxi arm? That I went I, on my ancestry and I, was like, oh, you're I, a I, I kind of did, yeah. Yes, I assumed that, uh, you know, just like Welby is from a long line of assassins, that you were from a long line <gasps> of one-armed tabaxis. Welby looks make, horrified when you say that. That would make sense. An assassin? Oh, no, wow. I. Yes, I'm, his last name is Good Sleep. You know. I, I, I was an innkeeper, just an innkeeper. In well, Dover, what is your last name? You're one of those messed up innkeepers, or uh, you regular cut them while they're sleeping? No, I. Uh, the only thing I cut is a, a very nice b breakfast for my guests. Yeah, garnish, garnish. Hey, uh, Dover's your last name, right? I mean, that's just my name. Uh, that's uh, my you people. We just, yeah, just one. You don't need fancy. You know, okay. you you got well, elves well, and you got fairies, and they've got three and five names, well, like well, adjectives and adverbs all over the place. So and so, the such and such. You know, I I well, just didn't find just being Dover. Well, technically, that would make it your last name. 
That really sounds very assassiny to say. It's mm-hmm. like you're gonna feed me a meal and you're gonna be like, technically, this is your last meal. That's right. It is. That's true. Whenever you're eating a meal, it is your last meal at that time. Would you like to come in and have a last meal? How about um, I come in and have a first meal? If this is your first time eating, that is hard to believe. Will be my 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 first time e- eating in the the reopened wheel. You guys cleaned up everything, and um, you've got you've got food and everything. That, that's great. Uh, yeah, sort of. Uh, yeah. Well, B's eyes go wide, and he runs downstairs to try to <laughs> throw something together. You know, we have sort of uh, like. It's like a traveler experience. You know, if you don't feel like leaving home, you want a staycation, but you want kind of rations, but you know, a little glampy. Mostly so rations. Kind of a kind of airstreamer kind of thing. All right. Exactly. Come down. We'll take care of you. We'll, we'll, we got drinks. Hey, I know he took off pretty fast, but he's not hiding dead bodies. I swear, right? Trust me. Yes, we don't hide them here. Look, I have three skulls on my... St- on my belt right now. Yeah, we're have everything out in the open. That's not three skulls. He doesn't really, I mean, seem to be too weirded out by that. He doesn't seem to be weirded out by that at all. Um, yeah. Oh, all right. What? Wow. It's it's been a while since the the Dabu quarantined this place off. Uh, what made you guys uh want to reopen it? Well, uh, that is that is difficult to say. You know, we are enterprising uh, business persons. Partially business tabaxi, very small part. Uh-huh. And uh, well, you, you guys got all that assassination money coming in. Exactly. You know, you need a front for that. And oh, uh, us does. <laughs> Welby has a lot of experience in running a front. So yes, we thought it would be an easy way to parlay our killing skills into owning a business. That's, that's fast. Are you guys, are you guys really from around here? I, I haven't. Well, that's actually, you know, um, what, what would you consider around here? Like what, what would you call the area around here? Also, kind of a microaggression, you know, might be the arm, but careful. Well, it's just, you know, it's, even though it's a big place, it, it feels kind of small. And I just haven't seen, feel like I would have remembered a uh, half orc with a tabaxi arm and uh, all these skeletons and an assassin around. Uh, yeah, so you're, you're, you're in Sigil. In Sigil? In, in Sigil. In Sigil? Just Sigil. I see. You just... are in Sigil. Oh, not like insane, in sigil. Okay, yes, we are in yeah. sigil, of course. Um, yes, with the Dabu. Yes. Dabu. Dabu and sigil. Dabu. Uh, how long have you been in sigil, Dover? 378 years. How, how long have you guys been here? I'm, I'm guessing... Uh, Kind of recent. I, 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 definitely less than 378 years. Hey, hey, he's gonna think we're gentrifying the place. Yes, we are trying to gentrify the place. We have roots, you know. We have uh, deep roots. We're trying to, you know, uh, extended. Fa- we're trying to get back to our, you know, what, what really. Well, you know, I I don't know some some new things. Some clean it up. Might might spruce up the neighborhood. Shake it up a little bit. Uh, things have been pretty dour since the faction wars. Uh, what? Oh. Yes, what, the where, faction wars. What what plane are you guys from? Oh, uh, the plane. You know the um. <clears throat> well, well based downstairs. By the way, should we go down and see if the food is ready? Well, we see oh, oh we'll sure. No, 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 no rush. Yes. Uh, yeah. I see in this neighborhood, you can just ask about what plane someone is from that, uh, you know, it's interesting cultural differences. Well, you know, 
guys just give off a vibe of not being from around here. I'm not trying to. If I'm wrong, if I'm if I'm mistaken, hey, uh, I'm 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 sorry. We don't have to continue. I, I, I don't mean to intrude or be rude. No, no, no. great auntie who's playing our. Yes, I think uh, you know we we thought we were in the ethereal plane, and um, we are not. We're in sigil with the dog. Oh yeah, you're not in the ethereal plane. Yes, there's nothing happening there. That's a that's a dead town. I see. Uh, wait, are you, uh, but you are from you are from Sigil, or you've been here for three hundred and seventy-eight years. I've been here from for three hundred and seventy-eight years. I see. So where, what plane are you from? And give me two seconds. <laughs> bop, 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 bop. I'm from uh, the the Feywild. Ah, uh, yes. They are originally. That makes sense. So are most people here from the Feywild? I there, there's some. We got people from uh, from all over. It's a real melting pot. Well, the the truth is, you are right. We do not uh, we do not really know much about this area. We are excited to learn. Uh, which which faction should we be part of? Which faction won the faction wars? You know, they kind of all lost because they, they shut down factions after that. Ah, okay, good. They are. Uh, I was worried Osana about. Osana non grata here in Sigil. So no faction. No faction. Good there's, to know. Uh, no factions, there's gangs, there's political parties, there's unions, uh Ah. But no no more uh, no more factions. I see. Uh, and what do you do in the city, Dover? You know do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I I know a lot of people. I'm good at uh I'm a people person, a people satyr. I'm a satyr for the people. I'm I'm good at uh, you know, inter introducing people, uh, make connections, that, that kind of thing. Food's ready. Oh, good. Let's go eat. Uh, well, be. Uh, what sort of connections would we need to run uh, this tavern? Do we need food connections or beverage connections, janitor connections? Well, the janitor union is quite powerful these days, but uh, yeah, you you would need you would you know you you would need suppliers, which would be be food and drinks. Uh, you'd need somebody to to clear it out the city, be political connections. Uh, you know, you need to get your union representatives. Uh, if you know if you're gonna have any any type of outside help, uh, and uh, you know probably also work it out with the gangs. Ah, yes. Dang. Okay. Uh, can I say that while this has been going on, Welby gathered up some of the old spoiled food and cast Purify Food and Drink on it. Ah, Welby, you, you made kimchi, I see. And has uh, attempted to cook a nice meal. Okay, uh, why don't you roll? with your cooking utensils. Okay. Du, du, du. Bu, bu, bu. That is a total of 17. Yeah, you, you, got, you got a stew on your hands. You got an appealing meal shaping up before you. I'm gonna run ahead uh, of the other two. To poke my head in, they, Welby, Welby, they're coming. How many? Uh, I don't know. Uh, hopefully a lot, but I have, I have enough to feed like eight. Get on the table. Regular sized people, or like sixteen if they're tight, if they're small. I. Welby, skimp it up a little bit. Get on the table. Start dancing. Like if we, if we, uh, our first day has to go. As as good, if we don't get off to a good start, this place is going to be ruined. I think I think Shalal is the performer here. I think we should we can get him to play music. 
Don't make a liar out of me. I run back outside. Live dancing! Uh, yes, uh, I can provide the live dancing. I will cast silent image to produce dancing people. Can't you cast a, it's a, how big can silent image be? Good question. It can be. Uh, 60, 15 foot cube. 15 foot dancers? Is it like, oh, a yeah, well, 15 feet long. You know, I'd imagine that their proportion, you, you can have 15 foot high dancers. There's one long. dancer in the middle who's 15 feet tall, just to use the whole height. I also, I also cast Unseen Servant to help me serve and clean and shit. Mm, nice. Yeah. I don't know why you'd need them to, to the chat, but. Uh, yeah. Spitting is not easy for everybody, Kevin. <laughs> the halfling thing. Be considerate. This is a family stream. <laughs> which is what I call it when I pee. <laughs> we got uh, yeah, so <laughs> Dover is impressed by the eerily silent dancing. Oh, uh, I can also cast, uh, what's it called? Minor Illusion uh, to create some sound to go along with it. You can do both? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was gonna do a... Uh, gonna do a uh, sound effect. Do sound effects. Uh, so it sounds like we may need to uh, get our our skulls in order, get our skulls in a row before we hang out our shingle. Is that true? We couldn't just start serving food and drink and dancing illusions without talking to the unions and the gangs and getting some grocers. Well, you know, you can play it from both ends because uh, a lot of them will come and find you. Oh. It might be beneficial. It might be uh, a nicer, you know, deal. You go and work it out, but sometimes it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. I see. And uh, who are these Dabu that quarantine this place? Do we need to talk to them? Do we need a lawyer? Uh, they don't. They don't talk. That's who are the Dabu is a um, conversation of much discussion. They, um... Dabu? Interesting. Dabu, Dabu. They, they, uh... They kind of run the city for, uh... The Lady of Pain. Oh. The Lady they, of Pain. Uh, can I, they can carry I, out... Can I roll Arcana on the Lady of Pain? Yeah. Natural 20, baby! That's a 25 total. Yeah, she is the famed ruler. All-powerful, yet enigmatic ruler of the great city Sigil in the heart of the Outer Plains. Welby's eyes go wide. Well, she, from the name, she sounds uh, very nice. Is she nice, dude? Does Welby know if she's nice? Um, there's very l little written about her actual personality. Very few people have actually met her. Um, more of a, a ruthless... She has a reputation of a ruthless, cutthroat, calculating, powerful being who keeps peace in the city. I don't think she's nice, Chalel. Yeah, she's blonde. She's uh, blonde, about 5'5", five, five, got a tattoo of a snake on her wrist. I'm just telling well, Welby just looks at Jalel and, and Snake just goes a little... Well, I do like uh, snakes. That's a, that part sounds good. Oh, okay, so do not speak to the Dabu. Um, well, I mean, you can, they just don't speak back. I see. 
Uh, well, can I ask you, if we, as long as we have the deed to this bar, are we, are we okay to own it? I know you. Maybe um, we need to talk to a barrister. I'm sure if you pay off the back taxes, they'll they'll uh, let you do whatever you want with it. Back ah. taxes? Who who would we see about the back ta back taxes? Uh, roll perception. Oh, am I not close enough to hear all this? No, but everybody can roll perception right now. You enjoy a good perception roll. 19! This digital dice is hot! Oops, that's performance. Uh, you hear thudding happening from the, coming from the front door. Just, uh... Ah, let me go and check. That may be the tax collector now. I'll go see who it is. Sh I shouldn't have said anything. Um, you see a gnome in a rather kind of colonial looking outfit and uh he looks up at you and goes good day are you uh are you the proprietor are you the proprietor of this establishment welby runs up and and like standing behind jalel for this conversation oh uh yes i suppose we are co-proprietors uh, very well my name is omate and i represent the Inner Cog Neighborhood Society, and we have we have Fortune's Wheel here in as a, a membership, but you seem to be 80 years past due on fees. Ah, yes. Well, there seems to be only a small uh, mistake. We're happy to pay the current fees, but actually for the past 79 years, uh, we have not been in the Inner Cog Neighborhood, so we, uh, we actually owe uh, dues to that neighborhood, uh, and uh, going forward, we'll pay the Intercog Neighborhood Society fees, of course. You know, double uh, double indemnity. You cannot pay two neighborhood fees at the same time. Wow, you're good at this. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. There's a lot of paperwork for my master and mistress. Make a uh, perception or make a pers persuasion with disadvantage. Oops. Okay, that's without disadvantage. Um, uh, Mr. Barrister, can I? Twenty-three. Uh, help, can I help you to some food while you are here? Ah, uh, yes. Would you like to sample the uh, stew? Um, sure. I'll I'll come down and take a look. And you see, uh, he flips to a another page in his notebook, and. Uh, titled inspection um we can uh, let you <laughs> well be flips his shit when he sees that <laughs> and, uh, and you, zooms you, off to... you, you notice he's putting on white gloves and he starts just kind of lining it his finger against the wall and he's like look i i understand um you know that you're new proprietors and perhaps you didn't think you were taking on the debts of the previous proprietors which by law you would so we, we can be quite we can be, you know, quite giving in this situation, and we're willing to cut your back fees in half. Uh, Welby has zoomed off and is cleaning just out of eye shot as hard as he possibly can with the assistance of Prestidigitation and the NZ Servant. I see. Uh, what uh, what sort of sum are we talking about for these uh, back fees? Um, say 500 gold will have you set and ready to operate for the year to come. <clears throat> Let me ask you something. Would you like 50% of something now or 100% of nothing forever? What do you propose? I propose, well, here's the vision that we have. Live dancing music food and uh and and alcohol and music get a food. cut yeah alcohol live dancing yeah darts uh what are those uh things island you, combat you uh a, a dunk tank 
Dunk tank. Aquatic sports. Uh, and in exchange, uh, you would take a cut of that for our being open. Because uh, I don't, I don't think any of us can afford five hundred gold now, unless Welby killed someone and is holding out. If you know what I mean, he kills people. So uh, he kills people. Yeah. Assassins killed? Question mark. You are running a lot more operations than I was assuming. Well, you know, the we, previous we're... establishment, and I mean, I, no, I apologize. Just... It's my fault for assuming, but I, I think five hundred and fifty gold would be. Sorry, that's all. Put you in fair. Where we're from, it all falls under one umbrella of. There's a name for it, right? It's the the dancing and assassins. Uh, yes, uh, but. But yes, uh, we, we need to familiarize ourselves with the laws here, of course. Yes, yes, because I mean, that might work where you're from, but you're not you're not where you are from right now, you're here. Yes, we're in Sigil. I mean, in Sigil. Sigil? Sigil, yes. Sigil. Yes, uh, where where are you from? Uh, or, or not, ornate, ormate, omate? I have spent my whole life here in in a cog. I'm 17th generation, and my family came over on the June tree. I see. Well, it is an, our, our great honor to have you in our establishment, of course. If there's any food, dancing girls, or anyone you need killed, please do not hesitate to uh, let us know. Please, I pull up a chair. Our finest 15 foot dancer. Dang it. Well, I'm quite glad you have an illusionary dancer, so, so they wouldn't be violating the guild's rules, but the guild probably won't be very happy for illusions. Uh, either. Um, okay, he rolled high enough insight so that he thinks you're joking about the assassins. He doesn't quite understand about the humor. Uh, good, good. I don't know, unless you guys really think that Welby's an assassin. Well, I mean, if, if assassins guilds are accepted here, then we might as well also set up shop as an assassins guild. But if they're not, then yeah. What? It was just a joke. Well, Welby running by... Did you say that? No, no. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Welby will not react to something you did not say then. So yeah, send 550 gold and we'll put you in in uh, good standing with the city in the neighborhood. And oh. you'll be free to run for the next year without us. Interfering, of course, if you break any laws. I mean, well, the constables will be there, not not myself, I guess. So. I see. And well, um... Welby comes up behind Jalel and slips him 550 gold from the from the register uh i see and then we receive some sort of certificate signed signed by you how does it work we get a receipt yes he writes you out a receipt embosses it and says uh tax status in good standing and um i just finish my inspection here and see if the place is clear and fit to open and have people. Oh, great. And uh, should we need to contact the Intercog Neighborhood Association, you have an address or something? I'm basically just going to stall for time. Mm -hmm. So well, we can clean um, up the altar. Yes, yes, here. It, it's here on your receipt. Um. Great. And can I also roll insight just to make sure that he's not scamming us, that he's a real inspector? Sure. 21. Yeah, he's very legitimate. He has an embosser. Okay, this is a very nice embosser, by the way. Do they Just make you buy your own, or it comes with the... Well, they reimburse you. Oh, good, good. This one with the gold inlay, you don't get reimbursed for that. That's oh. my own personal flourish. How many generations has it been in your family? Well, it was my grandfather's embosser, but I came up with a few improvements, so I like to think of it as my own. 
Great, well, um, what, what else can we do for you? Well, we need to do the name change. Oh, you, you're not keeping with the, the fortune's wheel? God, no. <laughs> I mean, out, that name's outdated. Literally. On the paperwork. No, no, this this place is gonna make over. It needs, a, it needs a fresh coat of paint, you know, new blood, new ideas. We really wanna get this place popping. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. I mean it could use some new paint. Um seems to be clean. He looks back at his dirty glove and goes in some places. Why are you writing? Um, and he points into there there's a crack in the archway above the door that's decor um, yeah it's the uh, ambiance it's, it should be decoratively fixed uh, i i think re really for being um quarantined and submerged and re-emerged it's, it's in quite good shape i think with very minimal work you should be up and running in no time and give you two weeks to make repairs and i will return we're running. Look at the dancer. Great. See, uh, we'll see you in, in two weeks. Very well. I left myself out. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, well, B, do you, you have what? this sort of person uh, where you come from? Yeah, the, the, the inspector, yeah, they come annually, usually. Well, uh, I suppose, uh, I hope we can make back that 550 gold. He left without inspecting? Oh, thank God. Oh, he inspected. Oh, this place, he didn't, he didn't check under the, the, the bed. He didn't look, look, he didn't turn over the, the seats. He didn't go in the kitchen. That's, we gotta, we gotta turn this whole place over. Oh, oh shit. Okay, I gotta. I gotta go clean. Okay, do you, can you do anything about that crack over there? He, he seemed yeah. concerned about it. Oh. Yeah, well, uh, we got a lot to do, but that's that's probably priority number one. Well, but do we have a do we have a ladder? Do we have something? Uh, well, Corona. let's let's pause here for a moment and um, do kind of some game character building here for your bar. I would like you guys to come up with. Um, three adjectives to sort of describe the the bar and not really, you know, not necessarily the atmosphere, but more just of the building, um, you know, like the status of it. You can come up with um, two positive descriptions and one negative one. Each or total? And just total. And, uh, you know, that you guys agree on. And just, you know, as simple as possible, we're looking for kind of one, two word answers. It had... Proposal for positive. It has a like a musty historic smell that's pleasant. That's positive. I was gonna okay. say. I, I was thinking along similar lines for the negative. I don't want to hang out a place that smells bad. Okay, but like, it seems like it's probably a little bit. Okay. Run down. We'll work on the smell. Get some incense. It smells musty, like it was underground, buried in dirt for 60 years. Um, 80 years. Hmm. Um, but I like ah. the hi historic, you know? It has a lot of nice molding and woodwork. Mold and molding. The, 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 the po Positive, molding. Negative, mold. Um, we'll kill you. I'm gonna go goblin. You're gonna what go. Is the, what does that mean? He's, he's gonna go out and gobble some stuff. Goblin. Or, uh, he's going goblin. Jeffrey. Sorry, these adjectives? I, I, I do, but my character does. I think this is an out of character exercise. Yeah, I mean, this is out of character. Oh. I mean. 
you definitely kind of think of what would work well with your character or what your character would want definitely but you don't have to speak in your character voice or anything right now i like the idea of it having very nice like craftsman-y woodwork moldings and and construction good bones on good this bones. thing but kind of run down a little divey in practice due to the 80 years do you don't want to do that in vogue thing where you just like it's like a one syllable like like spray or something oh, for the name yeah yeah we can do that no what's our second positive attribute um spacious what? spacious what'd you say simon slimeless slimeless it's slimeless i think Comfortable, homey. No, we don't want that. We don't want people to feel comfortable. We want, we want an inn. Take the money and get the help. Is it also an inn? Are there bedrooms? There's, there are some upstairs. Yeah. That's where we found the little shrine. Right, right. Dank. We got dank. Do we like dank, good bones, and spacious? Sure. Cool. I don't know what we're doing. Um, well, just coming up with descriptions, and then I'm going to give you in-game attributes for the building based off of the descriptions that you're coming up with. Oh. So, are the things we said along the lines of what you're looking for? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I mean, I'm just going to make stuff up. So, but it was just using what you gave me for inspiration. I'm going um, to so, flammable. Unkillable. We'll go start with good bones, easy one. Um, Your building, I'll just say it has resistance to non-magical damage. Sweet. Huh. Yes, I like the bones. I can't do the bone man, sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think, and then historic, it's easy to draw attention to this bar if you you mentioned the bar the name uh the fortune's wheel people will know what you're talking about and they'll be interested in it i'm not sure we actually said historic but it that seems fine oh no i'm sorry you said um spacious spacious you start you guys started with historic and then you switched to good yeah. to good bone so i thought you just have to keep better notes um yeah so spacious um, you guys are going to have an easier time. I think with Spacious, it'll just make it easier to add anything to the bar, or to the hotel, to the tavern. It's also, I mean, you have a pretty large warehouse space. You have a, a whole level of rooms, and it could really be, it doesn't have to be a bar. It doesn't have to be a restaurant. You could really switch it around to be what anything you would like to be. Assassin's Guild. Drug mm -hmm. Den. Yeah. Just give give Wilby a heart attack, why don't you? <laughs> and run down or dank if you prefer. Run down slash dank. Uh, I think this is going to be opposite of like what I was throwing out there for historic. Mm. Um, it's like once you have people here, it'll be just harder to keep them here. And that'll be, uh, you know, every so often you'll, you'll roll to see how much money you guys make. And uh, that'll, each one of these will have an effect on that, but that one will have a, a slightly larger negative effect. 
think that's great. I think that's a great one. A thorn in Welby's side forever. Wow, so it's easy to add to this location. So we can make it like a fortress. We can add a moat, you know? Catapults. You know, it, it's not limitless. It'll just be easier to add things. Um, you know, we'll have to talk about anything you want to add and see if that seems feasible or not. Like, you know, um, okay. Now I have to think of a good example. Like, let's just say just something just completely random. You wanted to add an armor. You wanted to have somebody make armor here that would normally be a little bit odd but because it is spacious there's probably enough room in the warehouse to make up an area where you could do that um even with it being spacious i'm just going to say that there's a whole extra floor that you guys haven't really gone through of warehouse area um that's largely empty and completely uninhabited right now um you know it's not limitless it's not endless you can't add anything and everything uh, it can't be without, you know, reason. You can't add, you know, anything that would be like a natural feature or wouldn't fit inside of a building. So indoor pool, okay. Outdoor pool, not okay. Yeah, I mean, moat, you can't really, you're not going to have an indoor moat, unfortunately, Simon. Yeah, moat's um, like an outdoor pool. Yeah. For for uh, trespassers but 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 your city and so it's you're not you're not connected walls but they're very tight walls and i don't think you're unless you somehow magically reduce your building a little bit and make it smaller enough for a moat to go around it i don't think your neighbors would take very kindly to you uh bulldozing through for a moat but you could set up like a bunch of tabaxi climbing structures yeah yeah when are they going to open the first bar slash rock climbing Jim. Does that not exist? That sounds like a really natural fit, actually. Right, should we do this in real life? Okay. <laughs> like... The insurance would just be up the roof. No, I just sign up thing. Sign no, he thing. means there'd be an insurance pol insurance office also. I I really don't Drunk like Drunk bouldering. How... Nobody gets hurt. I really don't like how the uh, really strict and unnecessary bureaucratic rules in this world are just like opening a small business in San Francisco. <laughs> I come, I play fantasy to escape, Kevin. You can escape your fears forever, Simon. <laughs> uh, so Dover's just there, kind of slowly eating his food. Uh, did you guys give him a drink? Did he order a drink? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'll get on there. didn't really right. order anything. You guys were just kind of seem to be giving him stuff, so I think he was uh, running with that. Uh, Welby will Welby will serve him a drink out of one of the taps we know is not full of enemies. We think we think it's not full of enemies. Has not proven has proven so far to have food and not enemies thus far. Just really old beer. Yeah. Old but not but poisonous. Indigy, I haven't had one of these in, in, a, in a while. This is this is aged. Um it, it is. Yeah, so I think uh, Omate's presence kind of alerted you guys to checking out the building a little bit more. So you are aware of it being uh, spacious, good bones, but run down and dank. Mm -hmm. In in Welby's uh, laps around the building, he is using his mending cantrip to fix cracks, etc. I think I'll tell you that the just like heavy use of mending and uh, spells like that will be just enough to, to kind of keep it in the shape that it is. So it's mm -hmm. not deteriorating further. Okay. But it needs professional work to, to, to not be a shithole. Yeah. If you want to kind of get past that, you, you're kind of looking at spending a lot of time or gold or something. Yeah. Sounds good. 
a pretty simple DM. All I want is just all of your resources. Right. And give me some of your resources and give you something in exchange for it. We should probably find a, like a contractor to fix up some of these beams. Uh, yes, uh, Dover, is that something you can help with? Well, you, you need a contractor to fix up the bar? I, I know, I know a couple guys can do that. Well, could you, could you introduce us? Yeah, sure. Should I go get him right now? I mean, you can finish your meal, but well, that would be, that'd be lovely. Uh, That's so kind of, do you have a, you have a little foil or you just put another plate over it, keep it warm? Uh, yeah, sure. Let me, let me go. Does, does Welby find foil in the kitchen? Um, roll perception. Roll perception. Good luck, Welby. Ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welby finds it. Okay. Welby foils the meal. Uh, Dover, uh, I have two other questions. Is there a, a place, is there like a library or a place where where learned people go to learn things around here? If we had questions about like why we're here, how we got here, etc. Well, I mean, there, there's only one way I know to get in and out of here. And that's the lady of pain opens a portal for you. Ah. Is that how we... The Lady of Pain opens the portal. Yes, okay. How did she know to... So she brought us here? I mean, everybody who comes in here... It's with her blessing. So the story goes. Do you know why she would bring us here? I mean, nobody knows why she does anything. I do. No Do you? Why did she bring us here, Corona Club? Heartless. Oh, because she wants to make my life a living hell. Oh. Her name's Tatiana. She the one making you carry that giant egg around all the time? This giant egg is my child, sir. I'll have you know. I'm a parent. All Wait, so before you were a tabaxi, you were an Aarakocca? No, no, before I was a tabaxi, this is an adopted egg. It's, it's adopted. Okay, okay. Look at the armor. Isn't that cute? Look it's how cute adorable. that is. No. Um, well, well, my other question, Dover, is um, how do people feel about undead here? Can we employ undead labor? Because I really like this idea. You, you're going to have to get in a fight with the union about that. The undead union or... Well, the living union, the the bar, the bartenders union, and the uh, the hospitality union. I see. I there's a hospitality union, as you say. I maybe I should have a word with them. I if you're gonna be running a bar, restaurant, tavern, uh, zombie fight pit, yeah, you probably want to have a talk with them. Uh, is there? Like a, like a farmer's market within walking distance, like somewhere just to to get food and 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 I guess a brewers union too. Well, let's see. You're here in the I inner car. And uh, in the in the center of the inner cog, that's where you're gonna find you're gonna find your, your learned types. Uh, Got to make up building name on the spot. You'll you'll find. Uh, Is there a map? Uh, not yet. Okay. Um, nice. Okay, you guys a map. Uh, the the luminous library is the uh, <laughs> biggest library in Sigil, and uh, they'll have 
any, any, you know, any books you might want. They're probably the best place to look for it. And then uh, you, you'll have to go out to one of the, the outer spokes, really, to, to find a good farmer's market. They bring in, in, in produce from uh, from a lot of the other plains. Um, Does the Lady of Pain bring the food in, too? Well, some of the portals are more permanent. Some come and go. They have, per you know, all Can the water from the city comes from the plane of water. There's just a portal oh. that's flooding in with water and one flooding. Is that dangerous? Wait, wait, so... Can we just leave through these portals? Yeah. I mean, it depends. Where do you want to go? Because that's... Material plane? Yeah, those ones are harder to come by. Okay. How would... Do you know how one would come by them? They're pretty closely guarded. The, uh, you know, the prime, you guys, all of you guys are primers. You don't know really how good you had it on that plane. That is one of the better planes you can be living on. And a lot oh, of people thank you. want to get there. And so a lot of people with access to it, you know, they keep it under wraps. They keep it hush, hush, but can charge as much as they want and let as little people as they, they want in. Well, I'm a little person, so maybe they'll be cheap. Well, let me say, as, as few people. <laughs> now we understand. Uh, Dover, having been around this neighborhood for so long, did you know Delilah, the Keeper of the Inn, or Darius? Oh, Darius, that guy. That guy could not hold his liquor. Uh, his, his liquor. Delilah? Yeah, she was. She ran this place for a while. She was pretty great. Uh, do they have any family still around? Friends? Oh, I'm. I'm sure they're friends, but I. I don't know of any family. Okay. Okay, here, but you keep that food warm. I'm gonna run and go get get a couple carpenters for you. Maybe we can put a job together. Thank. Thank you. Hey guys, you know you could just say a word, and he's gonna. There's gonna be a union for it. Like I think that for every everything we bring up, there's a union. So we should just stop. Stop, stop bringing things up. What about air? How do we get air in here? Is there a union? For that? <laughs> I'm kidding. It's a portal to the elemental. Is your meal? Just use your lungs. Is is does the stove have a portal to the elemental realm of fire in it? Uh, no. No, you just light a fire. Uh, unlike water, you generally don't need large moving supplies of fire. Maybe you don't. Speak for yourself. Well, uh, this is this has been a very strange day. I, I guess we are innkeepers now? Yeah. Innkeeper. I mean, I don't really know how to keep an inn. We're going to learn from the best. Because I will not lead you astray. Okay? Are you like the bouncer? I don't know. I was kind of thinking that Belby should be the bouncer. Oh. Do the money. Yes, because the good sleep, right? I know. Yeah. <laughs> He can he can give you know if they if they act up he will give them the good sleep, and then they will be our janitors. Yes. And you hear a what, knocking what? on the front door. Welby answers. Yeah. Yes. And for you, you see Dover and. Uh, oh, two come in! Come in! Goliaths. Can I get you hey. guys? Can I bring you guys any any food too? Oh, no, maybe after the job. Let's take a look around first. Uh, I'm, I'm Mason. This is my partner, uh, Snyder. Hello. Nice, goes, nice hey, to this, meet this you. This is Welby. This is the guy who's talking to you. Be, be, be real careful with him. I'm, uh, 
and I'm not... <sighs> okay, let's take, let's take a look around, okay. Welby lets them in and shows them the damage. I, I think also we might want to cover up this bear pit. Well, what is the bear? What is the bottom of the bear pit now? Is there just like a hole? Um. Well, there there's still one bear skeleton left. So that that part came with us. What how much? How how mu can we see how much of it came with us? Like, are the kobolds down there still? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, kobolds are still. No, nothing has come up. But there's like okay. a passageway. Allow employees. I, I'm just not sure if like we connected to a cave system that got left behind, or if it's all like kind of this a cave that came with us. From looking down, I mean, that, that one chamber seems to be unaffected by you guys moving up. Okay. Maybe we could clear that out and use that as storage, you know? I would like to collect some of the mold first, but sure. I got... Welby pulls out his mold cup and they're like, I got some right here, but if you want mold, more, we can... Just a little more, yes. Okay. Be careful with that stuff. Yes. Very important. But yes, maybe uh, maybe we cover over this pit. That seems like a good project, also. Unless we want to do bear fighting. You guys I think like we. You guys into bear fighting? I think if we can if we if we clear out the bear skeletons, we can can be like a, an extra room, you know, or an extra like a. Good dining room? Oh, yeah. We, maybe could, like we a... could always use more space. We don't want to just cover up the it's a whole room. Uh, maybe we could build like, a staircase. Maybe it's like a theme hostel, like, oh, come and sleep in the bear pit. Yeah, that could be, that could make, that could be a big, a big revenue generator, you know? Yes, they have to dress up like a bear and then we yell at them and they fight each other. We bet on it. Maybe I don't I don't know what this town's like, but if if there's a market for it, and they pay for it. Yes, that's my idea. I know it sounds it sounds it sounds crazy to me, but if you think it's a good idea, that's maybe maybe we can try it. No, he doesn't think it's a good idea. It is a good idea. That that's the same thing. That is. Hey, this is two for one. This is two to one. We are uh, we are partners equal. I partners. said I'm willing to try it. I don't know what you're arguing for. <laughs> yeah, I... Okay, and just so I understand the bear pit, it's it's really deep, right? We had to like use a rope to get up. I can't remember. It's twenty feet up. Okay. Got it. Get a rope ladder. Slide. Yes. Slide. We turn this into a, a water slide. Oh, uh, you can make a rope there. ladder. Or a rope slide. Or a rope. Like if a you can figure that out, Corona Claw, you can make a rope slide. Look, you do all the yeah, rope things. slide does not sound fun. Sounds well, like you, there's a lot of friction. You wear your clothes when you're going down it. I think. Yeah. yeah. But like. I just even going down that and just like you know, in a in a t-shirt. I feel like you would need like a full covered thing, like with gloves and a mask or something. I mean, if I go to the other extremely fun multifaceted bar slash bear pit down the street. Oh, whoops! There isn't one. Okay, well, you guys spend a lot of time talking about the bar pit. Um, So the breakdown, re really simple stuff like like that, like closing off the bear pit, they'll basically do for a meal. Um, but if you want to really like spruce this place up and not have it be run down, it'll always be a little bit dank because you know, it was underground for so long. But if you really want to remove the rundownness, um, I'm gonna say your three levels of rundownness, just rundown. 
and it will be 500 gold to remove a level. I think we should remove a level of friend downness. Um, can you make the fly noises stop? <laughs> They're very disturbing. <laughs> okay. Actually. Uh, um, yes, I mean, it's not I have been in much danker, more run-down places. But I can see why some people might not want to eat here. I think we should... We could, it's kind of a bit pricey, but I think we should at least get one level of rundownness down now, and maybe... Okay. And, uh, Aeson's cohort, they're like, alright, we'll, we'll get some, uh, We'll get we'll go get our equipment, get some tools, and uh, start patching things up. Cool. Ba -ba -ba. Do, 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 do. I have marked five hundred gold off. And you already marked the five fifty off. Yes. Well, let We're us... down to seven hundred and thirty-eight gold. Let Just us hope we do not. Out need to do a lot of healing. Um, Depends on the rope slide. Well, should we perhaps uh, go have a conversations with the kobolds? Yeah, we can go. Maybe they can help us run the place. They do not like uh, fire or light. Oh. So mo mo I feel like most people would want those things. Yes, maybe we have a a theme restaurant in the bear pit. You know, maybe there's no light, and you get to experience that the, your sense of taste more vividly because you cannot see what you are eating. Is that a thing? It could be. Hmm. The Sendef Chamber. Have there been one of those? No, I do no. not think so. You're blind and deaf, and in a pool of water, and temperatures your body, and uh, you go crazy. You slowly start to go crazy. It's amazing. It'll it'll center you. Uh, this is oh, what you I... wish to do with the bear pit. Apparently, all the uh, all the uh, elites are are into it. You know, slowly going crazy. Yeah. Um, so Dover comes up and he's like, hey, Ace says uh, the place isn't that bad. It's just going to start fixing it up for you. I think you guys made a good choice. This is a great spot. Oh. What, what do you guys want to do next to get this up and running? Well, thank you. Thank you for being so helpful. What? Can I ask why, why you're being so generous with us? Sorry if it's, it's, it's a rude question. Well, you know, uh, I, I put people together and, uh, you know, so I make my money. Ace gets a job through me. I, I get I get little pieces of it. Uh, you know, you guys you guys need something. Maybe you come to me, you pay me for it. Well, luck, lucky we met you. Yeah, lucky we met you just standing out in front of the bar that we just got. Staring at it. Can I do an insight check? <laughs> sure. Well, you guys, we want to interact with the first character that I mentioned, so. Um, got, uh, I rolled a seven, so I'm assuming Loelby thinks he's on the level. I mean, it makes sense. You're, you know, he's helping Ace get this job. Uh, you know, it makes sense that uh, he would direct some money towards him. Dover, we got a dancer's union. Got one of those going on? Well, you know, there's the hospitality union, there's uh, the entertainment union, you find the dancers there. Uh, I, uh, there's uh, the, the Brewers Guild. I think I ought to talk to the hospitality union. I was I was part of a... And the hospitality... We work some deal with the gangs out pretty quickly. Oh, the... Gangs? Which one are you in? I am unaffiliated. Uh, they don't like that so much. Uh, but 
we're pretty close to red cap territory and they're they're not the friendliest bunch i what do we have to deal with can is there some kind of like police is there like a yes this this often is a f is the easiest gang to bribe the police hey you said it not me but uh yeah they're not gonna do too much for you Ugh. what other gangs we got what, what are red top how do, how do we recognize them well they're, they're usually wearing um red hats crimson hats now oh, you want to use different I'd, words back where i'm from those are don't just people that wear those are not very don't like dealing with those Hats, people with hats. You know, th those those are the closest and probably one of the more, you know, in your face operations. Uh, so do we we just show up at their their house and be like, we're opening a bar. Come, don't don't don't, don't blow us up. Don't come. Don't come. Well, you probably want to intimidate them a little bit. Or they'll show up here and try to intimidate you a little bit. So Maybe if we a lot of bit. So if we show up and be like we're a tavern, there's a chance that a whole gang would be intimidated by a tavern, and they'd be they respect a single tavern in their territory. This is well. I think the thing is they'd probably want to cut your profits and shake you down. Okay. Uh, so you want well, to show them that you're not to be trifled with i i don't know um well, I you think guys were talking about um uh, assassin a ill gay i don't know i thought yes. maybe you guys can mm. hold your own the good and, sleep. Uh, yes we will give them the good sleep Cor corona dude i feel like this this sounds like your territory you're, you're kind of the scariest one of us uh is it over looking confused because I'm you... carrying around an egg. No, honestly, I think we should just uh, kill the first one we see. That's how I would handle it. Shalel, do you want to handle it? <laughs> I, I, I guess so. Uh, okay, maybe we should all go talk to these madcaps. Whoa, 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 no, no, not, not, not so fast. What, what are the other gangs we got here? Are they the only one? Like that's that's if they're if they're the only one, they got competition now. This thing, much. I mean, well, and he kind of explains to you that you, you're in their territory. There are other near gay near gangs. Um, there are the the crew tones. Um, the bones for men. The bones for men. Yes, yeah. I like this one too. Love that name. And um, God, having such a hard time coming up with names today. You I have to make name. up more fake names in advance. Um, bones for men. Ask your doctor today. Yes. Uh, well, those are the two gangs closest to you that, uh, Dover mentions. If you want to find out more about gangs, you'll have to put in some research. Guys, should we make a gang? Hey. Dover, you want our gang? No. Do you have a good name for the gang? Well, if you, if you want, like, a, a, a bar gang that makes soup and not crimes, I'm, yeah. What do you mean by gang? Soup not crimes. This is a good name. I like soup criminals. I mean, no, but the, the soups not crimes. The soup. The croutons already have kind of a soup themed name, I believe. How about the murderers? But uh, uh, oh, and like uh, we just like a lot of crows or something. Oh, that's even scarier. How about the red top? Oh, so Do Dover's like, you guys just want me to get some gang members over here? No! <laughs> God, no! No! 
We don't have a theme going. Like we got, they got red hats. We know what the crew tones are about. Bones for men, I can only guess, but we need like a, a gimmick. Because every gang needs a gimmick or else, you know, what are they even doing? You, you all can, don't have giant eggs? Can I, can our gimmick be that we run a, a bar and an inn that's very nice and people like us and don't want to commit crimes? It's not very intimidating, this, this gimmick. You need a good assassin? You totally wouldn't think. It's, it's true. Better better for assassin. God, he's scary. Oh, uh, bar, bar rags. We all have bar rags, right? I think one of us has a special bar rag. Yeah. Okay, so... Dirty bar rags. D clean? Clean? Yeah. That's the... That's the gimmick. Yeah. Clean bar rags. I don't like... No, they're dirty bar rags, because there's blood. Because we're a gang. So don't... I, I should tell them that, uh, the dirty bar heads are here and looking for Rumble? I, I think... Oh, 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 oh. Maybe we don't. should... Maybe we should go to them. Is there a gang union? I just feel like if they come here, they're going to start breaking things. Yeah, we'll go to them. We'll go to them. But everybody get a rag, put it in your put it in your little in the hoop where your belt goes. Alright? Maybe we get a few of them. Just do, so they know. I do not have a belt. How do you keep your pants up? Your you just you just get very well fitted pants. Oh, look at that. And then you can hang the skulls on the pant loops. You do not have to waste the pant loops on the belt. Well, for a while I thought you just painted your legs. I have right. considered this. Here, here, take it. It is a tight fit. <laughs> like Dover, a snake here's your rag. Oh, oh, thank you. So, I can kind of point out where they are, but this, unlike uh, carpenters, I don't really want them to know that uh, I was involved with this. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yes, uh, we could use the gang name, the Dover Gang. That is a good name. Yeah, I, I'd prefer if you didn't use that. Oh, okay, yes, of course. So, Dover. Would you guys I... follow Dover? Are you keeping the bar open? Do you have, like, the unseen servants running it, or...? Yes. Wow. This... Let's let's make sure we take the deed and the money, just in case. Yeah. Um... I... Do we want to show up at the gang? Like, well, I feel like we're asking for trouble. I think uh, we're going to have trouble one way or another. Maybe we we go and meet all three gangs. You know, we tell them it's sort of like an audition. You know, we see which one we like the best. What if we just like cook them food and make nice? You're such a bad gangster. I know. Um, I think we should tell each gang that the other gang hired us to kill them, but we're gonna work for them for money. The, this this sort of thing works for you normally. I mean, I I don't know. We'll find out. Oh gosh. Okay, I will wear the indistinguishable beanie, I think, when we do this plan. Just to do this. But the. the, the I'm, I'm covered in bar rags, Kevin. Completely just out of my shirt. I'm gonna just kinda hang back and hope they don't look at me. Okay, so right. Dover, before he walks away, he points you, you see a small group of hooligans. There seems it's... to be a, a very attractive looking elf, uh, a bullywug, um, a, a goblin, book? and um, just a very, not a gnome, but like kind of a tiny gnomish looking creature. Is it a svelte for Vermernernern? Oh no. It's actually, it actually almost looks, you know, it looks like a pale fleshy goblin and is wearing a their trademark red hat. Hmm. 
this is the gang? They don't, it's just a, a couple of guys. Well, this, it's sort of like uh, the local outpost of the gang, I think. Okay, I'm gonna... Yeah, and Jalel, you, Jalel understands that this isn't the entirety of the gang. But this is just, you know, four members of the gang who are hanging out. I do oh. that thing where I put my uh, fingers in my mouth and whistle. I don't know if I can actually do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, so are you kind of trying to get their, just get their attention? Are you trying to intimidate them? Uh, Welby panics and hides behind Corona when he does this. Yeah. Yeah. Hide behind me. Good thing you can, will see you. So Corona, what, why don't you tell me what trying to effect you're trying to get and then we'll determine a role you can do for it. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, New dogs in town. Whoa, whoa. Uh, All right, let's, let's say this is definitely intimidating. So let me roll intimidate for me. All right. Cool. Just let me know if you want the spirits to help you. Thank you. I didn't keep saying that. I don't know what it means. And freak. Is it? It's because I can't make the. <laughs> <laughs> And so this very attractive elf turns around and goes, Yes, did you want something? Oh, uh, hello. Uh, we understand you are the local hooligans. And the little gnomish goblin goes, oh, We prefer troublemakers. Oh, that is, this is a good word, troublemakers. Uh, yes. Uh, how much for, for no trouble in this neighborhood? And uh, they kind of talk about themselves. Oh, it's so nice to hear all about you. Well, they talk amongst themselves. Oh, oh, oh. I'm like interested uh, in you talking about you. hear harsh tones, and they, they look back at you and go, all right, we make a lot of trouble. And this is, uh, this is a bullywug talking. We make a lot of trouble. You only want some trouble, that's 100 gold a week. You want no trouble, that's 250 gold a week. Is this is this a reasonable amount of gold? This this sounds we, like we can't, we can't afford that. Trust me, this is a deal. This is a deal of your lifetime, which should be pretty short if you don't I jump don't, on it. I see. We can't, we'll go broke so fast if we can't make well, this deal. We can't. Could you Please, could you give me could you give me some examples of the of the kinds of troubles that you would still have for a hundred gold a week? I just want to understand, you know, what what level of trouble are we talking about? We show up, you give us stuff to eat, uh, we get in fights, you ignore us. If we want to do things, you leave us alone. No, we can't, we can't run a place like that, no. I, I see. Well, here's the thing, guys. Fruitstone's hired us to kill you, but we'll kill them for half. Okay, everybody, roll initiative. So, yeah, we're going to test them out. Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> Lord. The... 12. Nine. Right where we want to be. The elf and then the the kind of gnomish goblin both stare you guys down and go, the croutons were too much a wuss to come here themselves. They yep. they hired some innkeepers to we're kill us. Bar rags. How did you know we were innkeepers? I mean, we're not innkeepers. Well, you got some kind of business you're trying to keep us out of. You said you were opening a business. Ain't gang in business. Okay, Jalel. Yes. You're up. What would you like to do? Um. What can I do? All right, bonus action. I will. 
determine my tail from beyond. I guess I should have done that before combat. Okay. <clears throat> I have it. Uh, with my action, I will um, hold my action, and if someone attacks me, I will try to stab them with a rapier. Oh, shit. I think that's it. Okay. I should I should I should have used one of my new spells before I even did this. Well, it is your turn now. It's too late. Uh uh Welby is is there cover nearby? Is there like refuse or like a box in that in the street that Welby can scramble behind? Aren't you behind me? Is there um, a, a non-living cover? So you get half cover behind Corona Claw, okay. but there, there's probably there's like um, you know, some broken boxes and pallets that you could take uh, three quarters cover behind. That's about thirty feet away. Welby cannot move that fast. Uh, question: Did we get a long rest before since the last battle? Yeah. Okay, we got our spells back, baby. B -b 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 long rest. Ha ha. Uh, cool. Welby is going to remain behind Corona Claw and be like, "Well, let's let's, uh, let's let's try this one." And uh, he is going to uh scramble around for his component pa uh, pouch and pull out a pinch of fine sand. Or he's gonna put pull out a pinch of fine sand and hold it up and put out his hand and speak some someness uh, and the sand blows away and casts sleep on the group of them okay Ooh. and then what did you roll for the hit points 5d8, huh? Dit, dit, dit. One, two, three, four, five. Holy shit, that's a lot of eights. Uh, 32. Wow. That's... I that's... rolled three eights that's and it. a two and a six. That's enough to put Corona Cloud to sleep. Okay, so you see the uh, attractive looking elf and the bullywog fall asleep. It worked! Act like you've been here. I mean, it, it, it worked. Great. You say like, yeah, that's right. That's right. In your face. And that is, that is, that is, uh, uh, Welby's turn. Oh, okay. It's with the lowest. Let me, sorry. I'm going to redo that real quickly after I read how it works. <laughs> so, so the little, the little gnomish goblin is asleep. The other goblin is asleep. And the bullywug is asleep. Hell yeah. Thanks. So it's you. just the elf who's awake? Mm hmm. And Corona, it is your turn. Okay. Uh, how far away is the elf? Uh, the elf is ten feet. Right. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna saunter up to the elf, just posing, flexing, like, "Oi, don't you know that I'm loco, right?" 
I've seen a bunch of gangsters. I don't really know how to do it, but I've watched movies. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that. All right, essay. Here we are. And then I'm just going to, uh, uh, I think, attack. Attack is a uh, stupid old face. Okay. With the weapon. Just a little bit. Sorry, my dice are rolling really slow. Nine, uh, to hit. nine. Yeah. yeah, so you are just put off by how good looking this elf is, and uh, you're really just, you know, not able to commit to hitting him in the face, and that is going to be a mess. All right, but I'm going to uh, 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 go ahead and take that action surge now. Okay. That's one thing that I do, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to try to attack him again. No, I'm not going to try. I'm going to do. Your dice do roll really slowly. Wow, and, and similarly. And horribly. Another nine. You Me? try to get yourself together, but you can't come to it. You can't seem to hit just such a beautiful looking elf. With the accent? Corona the God, don't you want to just destroy something beautiful sometimes? Uh, Alright, I'm going talk like this. I'm done. Was there anything else you wanted to do? Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. That's, that's, that's it. What? That's it. I'm done. He is done. Yeah, okay. So... This beautiful elf suddenly rearranges their face and becomes just a horrible look of terror. Everybody make me a wisdom saving throw. Oh boy. Would you say this is a spell or other magical effect? Uh, no, it is not. In that case, I get a 13. Okay, Nineteen 13 saves. Nineteen. Nineteen saves. Five. Corona Claw, you are afraid of just such a mix of terror and beauty. And Zalal, it is your turn. All right, I will cast Suggestion on this elf or elf-like creature. That is a wisdom save. DC... 13. And I will suggest. Or, well, do you want to see if he succeeds? Or? You, well, you can say it while it's rolling. I will suggest. Um, there's no sense in fighting us. Why don't we go together to the True Tones territory and. Uh, we, you can help us double cross them. Croutons. Croutons. With a nine. Uh, yeah, he fails. And he goes, we're gonna cross over the croutons. Okay. Exactly, yes. Uh, I like that. Do you know where we might find them this time of day? Yeah, they're always hanging out in front of the hogshead. Oh, let's let's go in and, and see them. Right, guys? I think I think he's excited. You okay? Are you okay, Corona? Hey. Sorry, what? It only lasts for one minute, so you, you can make another save. Oh, Corona, are you are you okay? Uh, listen, are you able to release to release this man, this orc? To I mean, he kind of has to release himself from it. It's not oh, like a spell or anything. It does. Yeah. So mm. Corona is just very afraid. You know. For the next minute, and then it passes. Corona, like sometimes. I don't know. Sometimes I get afraid of things too, but then I remember that 
all the other times in my life that's that I've been things have attacked me afraid things I've kept going and then it seems possible to make it through again no idea what you're talking about but I was faking that all right I wanted him to think that it worked so the next time you see what I'm saying so that was you gotta learn how to do that sometimes I would well look at if that's true why don't you look at him again well as you guys argue about whether or not uh, Corona is a scaredy cat or a scaredy orc um, are you guys making your way with this um, incredibly good-looking elf to the Hogshead to go mess with the Croutons? Oh, yeah. yes. I think that's a, a good point for us to stop tonight, and we will uh, pick up our gang Battle Royale uh, next week. Sweet. You're the worst gangsters ever. Not like me. Yeah, the trick is you just got to kick someone's ass or become someone's bitch the first day, right? Or kick someone's bitch. Yeah, it's, it's not okay. Don't don't kick anybody. Just be real, you know. You just be yourself and make friends and influence people. Is there a jail union? Uh, there's a jailer's union. Is there a union union? That's just dumb. Don't be absurd. I mean, you got to protect the rights of the unions. You know, what if one union is getting picked on? If all the unions get together. The problems of the world would be over. By any other questions about the unions, you'll have to find out in game. Uh, I've been DM Kevin. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you, Gamescape, for being our sponsor. Thank you, Sirenscape, for the copyright, royalty-free music, sound samples. Um, especially those flies. Yeah, especially the flies. Sirenscape, you're the true lord of the flies. Um, anything else we want to thank? Any plug? Any raid requests? Um, Dirty rags. Oh, thanks for stopping by, everyone. We will see you next week.